Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailmon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles, and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tablemon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Oh, the resistance. Oh my god. Oh, the resistance. Welcome everyone to our key number 25. This video marks the halfway point in our journey of 50 decks, 50 keys. As I am saying this, as I am recording this, uh, it feels like so much that I still have halfway to go. So much rage to go, so many... <laughs> Stamps to one that will fail. So many Marnies that will cement themselves as public enemy number one. But today we're playing Mew3. Let's see where we are at at the halfway point. Yeah. Glad I am shuffling this. Uh, these leaves are from the Professor's Cup Player's Cup. Which is crazy that they have better prizes than the actual Players' Cup. <laughs> that shows you a lot about where the priorities are for Pokémon. Um, but hey, this is a good enough start. If I play this Ice to stab me to one, that's on him. I mean, stab me on turn one rather than not stab me to one. They, they would probably decide to stab me to one. <laughs> okay, we're up against Pikram. Maulana is really good against Pikram. Malana is really good against Pico, right? Um, they see my Mew3. They don't. They probably play their own Mew3. They don't know what we're playing yet. Although the Grookey coin is kind of a tell. I probably shouldn't have a Grookey coin right here, <laughs> or I should have every deck have. I, that's actually something I should have thought about. Every deck should have the same coin, the same like every deck has the same sleeves and deck box, the vivid voltage stuff. But the Grookey coin reveals that I am a Grookey deck. So I should have thought about that. I'll I'll try to make sure that every deck after this one features a, a coin that would make your opponent think, well, I have absolutely no clue what I'm up against, right? Okay, don't care about this well. Switch gone, Herbaloon gone, two energies gone before Tapu Gogo got searched for. We know there's not the Dene in hand, so you're gonna really dig this turn. Coco being prized is only 10%, so it's not likely. But if they did discard those energies and it is prized, then going second is even more impactful. And that's good, right? That's good news for us. Then whiffing energy would also be fantastic. But we do see the quick ball right there. It is for Bolta, not for Coco. I think Coco might be priced. Yeah, and my opponent just outright discarded the two energies. So they could be punished with no energy attachment. Okay, never mind. There's Coco. Why would you search for that for Bolton instead of Coco? That I do not understand, but it's not my uh, purpose to understand, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna big jump this person and then. We're gonna go Marnie. I mean, Crobat. Okay. So if I'm Marnie, I'm not guaranteed to get the Rowlet Executor. Oh, what is this? I'm gonna Marnie. I don't like doing this, but I'm gonna Marnie. Because I don't know if I price the Real Boom or not, so I need the Real Boom back into the deck. Okay, this is, this is decent. This is actually decent. 
All right, so I can't quick ball for something like the Dene. Though I'm not so sure I want the Dene on my bench just yet because it's a target for this and it's a target for attack vault. So I'm thinking I'm gonna capture, establish the Rowlick that way or just get Shaman. Maybe I just get Shaman. Yeah, I kind of like the Shaman actually. For the free tree pivot. And then I do have access to the Dene, which is good. Also Eldegoss to Marnie again. Um, I have two Twackies, two Rillabooms. I could also get Grookey, but I don't think my Grookey is threatened right here. All right, I'm gonna get the Shaman. I'm not super happy about it, but it is what it is. And then we'll go ahead and do this. Do I just go ahead and Tetene? No, I'm not gonna Tetene. I'm gonna grab Marty. I mean, not Marty. That's not Marty. <laughs> That's Zelda Gus, which will grab me Marty next turn. And then we go Super Growth. All right. So we've established that the Vileplume is prized, so I can't pressure with Vileplume. I can't pressure with a 2 energy attack next turn. But we have a real. We got the ideal. The ideal turn one setup, right? And we have a supporter in our hand. Technically, because of Eldegoss. I have healing. So we'll see. We'll see what happens after this. Best case scenario, my opponent goes um, electrify. Right? That is 100% best case scenario. Cherish pull for the Dene. So, okay, so let's start thinking. If they go electrify, do I GX KO Bolton? No. Wow. Okay, so they're committed to the Bolton. Because uh, it's just KOing Bolton isn't really like anything great. Don't care about that, honestly. Don't really care about that. Like they set us behind an energy, yes, but it's not the biggest of deals. Yeah, Balloon, Marty. Yeah, I don't think I, I KO this guy at all. Because that would require a GX attack. That would require a GX attack. Oh, wow, they actually go onto the Raichu. That is very peculiar. That is actually very peculiar. Okay, I definitely want to start applying pressure though, that's for sure. And then I'll definitely attach the capture so that the energy goes back into the deck. I'm not gonna bench anything though, because I will be doing this. All right, so I have switches and I have tackles to directly search for the Mallow Lano, which is right there. Right. So I'm just gonna go Calming Hurricane. My play next turn, depending on, like if they actually go for the paralysis, my play next turn might actually be to go Mallow Lana heal with Dragonite. He, I mean, Malolana heal and then KO them with Dragonite. That would be insane and probably game changing. Probably game changing. We'll see. It's not guaranteed whatsoever, but we'll see. Okay, they attached to Pigram. Oh, I hate you, Marty. I hate you with a passion. Oh, I had the perfect hand to respond to this. The absolute perfect hand to respond to this. I had the absolute perfect hand to respond to this. And now I need a switch. Oh, which I did get. Nice. Okay, the issue is... Uh, okay, actually, there's no issue. I probably should have used Voltage Beat. I'm glad I didn't, but I should have used it to maximize my chances of drawing the switch. <sighs> okay, I'm pretty sure 
again tropical our GX here. And be in a perfectly okay spot. Because now all their energies get shuffled back into the deck. So they're gonna lose a turn. Right? They are going to lose a turn right here. Uh I mean I wish I, I wish I could have KO'd, right? I absolutely wish I could have KO'd, but I had no way of KO. Now they're gonna retreat and they're gonna have to electrify and then I'll attack and heal. Uh, this is where Okay, that's good. I might actually just retreat the Mew 3, honestly. Imagine if they don't have an energy in their hand. That would be fantastic. Okay, now you can go ahead and Marty me. If I had healed last turn, if I had kept my hand, if I had gotten Marty, pfft, would have been game over. I would have knocked out the Raichu, had a 40 damage Mewtwo. Oh, what? Oh my God, that is insane. That is actually insane. I'm gonna keep that energy as an energy, and then now we start healing. All right, their hand is dead. Are we getting plus one? It's looking like it, right? Because they still need to do that electrify turn. Okay, well, we're not out of the woods yet, for sure. We're not out of the woods yet. I feel like you wouldn't have promoted the Pikachu. All right, that's fine. Like we 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 gained the turn that we were looking for because now they're in a conundrum, right? Now they're in a really oh my god, that is the most beautiful, the most beautiful Malolana I have ever seen. The most beautiful Malolana card that I have ever seen. Wow. That was a top deck. That was a top deck to make up for a lot of terrible top decks in the past. I wish I had something else, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? Now they have to full blitz. <clears throat> Plus one. Nice. Okay. That Tropical Hour was really well timed. Um, it bought us two turns, which is more than <laughs> the Eternatus player one, uh, which is more than we could have hoped for, right? So all good, all good. I'll see you in the next game. All right, round two. We've gotten a few plus ones lately. Let's see if we can get a plus three or plus five with this deck. No? Let's see if we can actually do this. All right, we lose the coin flip. We definitely want to go second with this deck to get the turn one wheel of going. My opponent either not paying attention or debating. I wonder if someone would actually go like, okay, I'm playing against Tablemon and they would go to my YouTube channel, check which decks I've already used and therefore they know what they likely won't be playing against. I wonder if that's something that they would actually do. Oof. Two mulligans into a... Not the best start, but that Twacky makes me nervous. That Twacky makes me very nervous. Okay, Crobat start for them. This is Eternatus. Is this Eternatus? I don't, I can't even tell what that point is. Okay, based on the time though, I feel like my, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I feel like my opponent might not be around, but now we see the air balloon. I think that pretty much tells me it's not a turn test, which is already a really good thing. But starting the bottle for Armosa, and if this is ADP, the fact that it has 260 HP, yeah, it's ADP, that might end up being my. 
<sighs> My demise. Having this guy in play and being able to be KO'd by Station. Yep, yeah, and perfect start for them. So, this is gonna be rough. This is going to be very, very rough. And by very rough, I mean pretty much impossible. Okay. So. This is, what, what even is this hand? This is awful. I think I'm gonna have to dead it. I mean, they have four prizes with three level on this guy, so having dead it, then it doesn't change anything. So I'll grab that guy. Okay, the other back is not prized, thankfully. Ah, uh, yeah, this is not looking great, though. Okay, let's get rid of the Bucky. I don't see how I win this one, though. If I get mobile, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> if I get mobile, I'm actually going to cry. Okay, I'm not gonna go any further because I don't want to draw the Twaki, right? So I could have used Synthic Link, but I chose not to because I don't want to draw the Twaki. <laughs> if I do draw it, even though chances of me drawing it were so low, like, if I did draw it, that was immediately game over, so... Our beautiful ADP Hammers, I think it's gonna be plus one. I think it's just gonna be a plus one right here for us. I think it's just gonna be a plus one. I need I need them to whiff boss, right? That's that's what it comes down to every time against ADP. Um, or for them to misplay and go like boss kill the Dene instead of boss kill Rilabum. So attaching big charm to the Formosa would actually not be terrible. Oh wow, they already used up the boss. That definitely feels like a mistake. One which I am happy they made. Okay. All right. All right, so calming hurricane. I wish that was Mew 3 though, because then I could threaten with KOs with Dragonite. The way this is set up right now, that's not gonna happen. Okay, so they have the energy. Do they have boss? Notice how they haven't played anything, right? Which means they could still have the Dene, right? But using the boss, They just have double balls, man. Okay, well, they killed the Dene, which is... <laughs> best case scenario for me, I guess. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. They're down three bosses. I mean, two bosses, right? So what if... I have two options. I could go boss... No, I could just, I could GX KO this. Well, I could KO with Shaman too. I got, I drew energy right, yeah. I could G I could KO this with Shaman, and then if they don't have another boss, right? Like three bosses back to back to back, then maybe next turn is when I go GX. I don't like that though. Oh wait, actually, with the big charm, I can't lose next turn. 
So that is the correct play. And I have the energies to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We are going to power up the Shaman. We're gonna take a kill with the Shaman. This doesn't have to be uh, grass energies, right? So we're gonna do the capture. Um, Mewtwo. I mean, Mewtwo's not bad since I could go Targus Tornado. But why though, right? Yeah, why risk it? Uh, yeah, no, let's not do it. And then we go Flower Storm. Okay, so we get the KO. Uh, I really, if that was Mew3, this would be, I feel like it would be game over. Because I could go boss KO, GX, GX KO, shuffle the energy, and then as long as they fail, right? Okay, as long as they fail to return KO, then I Dragonite GX and KO. Oh! Did I misplay that? If I had Quick Bolt, no. I mean, I did have the Guzma Hell. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, they have the boss. Oh, now I need a switch though. <laughs> um, nice, thank you. Thank you, Deck, for believing in me. Uh, sure. Thank you, Deck, for believing in me. Okay. So let's do Voltage Beat. Oh wait, I can just KO with Shaman. Right? Now I can actually just KO with Shaman. And now they need their fourth boss. Oh my god, did I do it? That's on my opponent. Like, they have had boss, boss, boss. Okay, they haven't had anything else. True. But they have had boss, boss, boss. Like, what the heck? Uh, I don't have any more energies in my deck. So they go boss on their real opponent. It's okay. They go boss on real opponent. It's okay. Oh, the resistance. Oh my god. Oh, the resistance. Are they gonna go switch boss? <laughs> oh, the resistance. I forgot about the resistance. 10 off. I forgot about the grass resistance. I mean, would I have done anything differently there? Yes, yes. I would have gone boss GX hail. Oh, they top decked the tool scrapper. They actually top decked the tool scrapper. They did have it last turn. <laughs> what? What even is this? Okay. The the metal saucer being down is good. That is actually really good. Oh my god, what is this game? I think I can still do it, but I do need to find... I don't even know. That's fine. That is actually okay. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. Well, I mean, I do care, but... <sighs> what is this, man? What is this? Pulls a switch. Oh, starting that, I knew that guy was a problem. My opponent lost. Look, like if she loses, it comes down to her. <clears throat> oh, you're joking! It comes down to her. Um... Uh, 
using the not KOing the Rilla Boom, KOing the Den instead of Rilla Boom. Like if your plan was to take six prizes by knocking out this guy, then why KO the Den when you could have taken two and four? Right? So if she loses, it's on her. Alright. So I go Marnie and GX. They have one boss. Or do I just KO? I feel like I saved the GX attack. Here we go. No boss for me. The Tene? <laughs> oh no, the Tene is already in the Discord file, never mind. Oh. Yeah, so the issue is Seishin, right? Like, Seishin, I can't KO Seishin. That's the problem. So I would go out of my way to find boss this turn, right? Like I don't have such a big deck right now. They need their last boss. They need energy boss and they don't. They need energy boss and they won't. It's out of my hands. It's literally out of my hands. The issue is if they whiff, um, oh. there it is. Oh, I can't punish their misplays. It can't punish bad play. It's so frustrating. It can't punish bad play. Can't punish bad play. Oh, and I... Oh. I mean, I miscounted. Right? I miscounted. Oh, the damage with the Shaman. That... That... Capture energy I attached instead of the grass, that's what costs me. If I knock out Seishin there, it's game over. So, no one to blame but me. No one to blame but me. My opponent's misplays allowed me to get to a point, and then I made a misplay, which compensated her misplay, and then Marnie gave her what she needed. Whatever. Plus one, I guess. Oh, we're on a plus one streak. Okay. We're at the halfway point, still 25 keys left to go. Still a long way to go, still a lot of raging to go, still a lot of Marnie hate to go, but we're on our way, we're on our way. Like, if we just blindly doubled our point total right now, we would definitely be in the player's cup in every single region. So let's keep that up. Yeah, and we've had so many opportunities to add to our points tally and so many, like between my misplays and unfortunate draws and stamping them to one when they have over 35 cards and they get out of it flawlessly like we just need a little luck to go our way consistently right because i have gotten lucky for sure i have gotten very lucky in many situations but i feel like my opponents have gotten a little bit luckier than me all right catching the next key